Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're putting Bitwig Studio and Logic Pro head to head, two powerful digital audio workstations with very different personalities. Let's start with Bitwig Studio. Bitwig is all about flexibility and experimentation. It's available on macOS, Windows, and Linux, making it one of the few pro level digital audio workstations with true cross platform support. One of Bitwig's biggest selling points is its advanced modulation system. Any parameter, whether it's on a built-in device or a third-party plugin, can be modulated with LFOS, envelopes, step sequencers, or custom modulators. Then there's the grid, Bitwig's modular sound design environment, which lets you build custom synths, samplers, and effects from scratch. Bitwig is a playground for electronic musicians, experimental producers, and sound designers who love to push boundaries. Now let's talk Logic Pro. Logic Pro is Apple's flagship digital audio workstation, available exclusively for Mac OS and iPad OS. It's a studio workhorse used by producers, composers, and engineers worldwide. Logic Pro shines with its huge library of instruments, effects, and loops, over 70 gigabytes of content, from realistic orchestral instruments to cutting-edge synths like alchemy. It's fantastic for recording live instruments, MIDI composition, and full-track production. And in recent updates, Logic has added features like AI-powered session players, spatial audio tools, and better integration with Apple's hardware ecosystem. If you're in the Apple world, Logic Pro is deeply optimized for performance and workflow efficiency. So, how do they feel to use? Bitwig feels like a customizable creative sandbox. You can set up your own workflow, experiment with modular routing, and adapt the interface to your needs. It's perfect for live performance, hybrid setups, and unconventional production styles. Logic Pro feels like a fully equipped studio in a box. It's polished, straightforward, and packed with tools for recording, arranging, mixing, and mastering. It's less about modular experimentation and more about giving you everything you need right out of the box. Now let's talk pricing. Bitwig Studio offers three editions, Essentials, 99 euros, or about 109 US dollars. This includes all the core features, 10 modulators, and a starter set of instruments and effects. Producer, 199 euros, or about 219 US dollars. This version adds more instruments, more effects, and expands modulation to 18 modulators. Full Bitwig Studio, 399 euros, or about 439 US dollars. This is the complete package with 154 instruments and effects, 42 modulators, the full sound library, and access to the grid modular environment. Logic Pro in 2025. On Mac, Logic Pro costs a one-time payment of $199.99, and that includes all the instruments, effects, and content. No extra purchases needed. On iPad, Logic Pro is available as a subscription, $4.99 per month or $49 per year, and it's designed with touch-optimized controls for mobile music production. So, which is better? If you're a sound designer, electronic producer, or experimental musician who thrives on modular workflows and creative control, Bitwig Studio is the better choice. If you're a Mac-based producer, composer, or recording artist who wants a complete professional studio at a flat one-time price, Logic Pro is unbeatable. Both can deliver professional results, but they serve different creative mindsets. Bitwig is for explorers and tinkerers. Logic Pro is for producers who want an all-in-one, streamlined experience. Let me know in the comments. Team Bitwig or Team Logic Pro? If this helped you decide, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more digital audio workstation comparisons every week. Thanks for watching and keep creating.